Hey guys, this is Jenny. Kevin's behind the camera. We're here with Eat By La Travel. Today we have a special guest. Another YouTuber by the name of David Rubio with La Pura Sabrosura. And today we're going to have some lunch at a trout farm, una granja de truchas, for some fresh fish. No entendí nada. <laughs> so, trout or truchas are, of course, a fish. And this trout farm grabs them fresh for you right before they serve them in a variety of ways. We're going to show you all the different ways that they make them. Trout Farm is about a half hour drive from Orizaba and it's literally near nothing else. So if you need the location, check the description for it. So we're here with Las Truchas and we were really excited to find a place like this to serve fresh food. You know, we had been thinking about a video to make on the different kinds of food in Orizaba. Right. So we were very lucky to find David Rubio with his channel, La Pura Sabrosura, and we want to ask him a few questions about his channel because we're really intrigued as we're learning about food from Orizaba. So just a heads up, David here speaks Spanish. We'll be asking the questions in English, but we'll have your subtitles ready for you for everyone to follow along. Dale. Dale. ¿Nos entendiste? Nada. <laughs> Ah, mira, este, bueno, la, la verdad es que eh, inició el proyecto para que la gente conociera toda la comida aquí en, en, en Orizaba, en el Pueblo Mágico. Este, entonces, pues lo primero que queremos hacer es que pues, la gente que venga de otros lados, por ejemplo, como ustedes, eh, pues conozcan toda nuestra gastronomía, que visiten lugares este, pues, realmente pues, típicos aquí de la comida y pues, también comida así callejera, ya saben, este, andar inclusive de los de taquitos aquí de la, de la banqueta, o pues también irnos a vender a, a aquí a un restaurante como este, donde podemos comer, por ejemplo, truchas. Ajá, pues qué chido que nos encontramos. Muchas gracias por invitarnos aquí a comer. Tú pagas, ¿verdad? Ah, no te creas. Yo pago. Sí, y pregunta, muchos arochos no casi no comen chile. ¿Tú comes chile? Salsa, picante. No, hay que tener cuidado con la pregunta porque aquí en Veracruz se ah, interpreta de doble, pero sí, sí comemos picante. Pero no, sí, sí le estamos duro, pero ahorita por ejemplo, eh, pues, igual y podemos hacer aquí el reto a ver quién, quién come más picante. So, there you go, we're going to have a nice little hot spicy challenge, we'll see who wins, American or the Mexican. Woo! So what we got here, we ordered three, uh, six tostadas of ceviche, if you don't know what ceviche is, it's just raw, raw fish uh, cooked in lime. The tostada is layered with a little bit of mayo, ceviche, and aguacate at the top. Over here we have a trout with habanero style trout. It's supposed to be really spicy, we'll find out for ourselves. And two micheladas and uh, agua de jamaica. Yeah. I'm gonna dip it in the... <laughs> oh, by the way, this is the habanero one, right? And yeah. It's hotter than a la diabla. It's hotter, of course, than any of the other options on the menu. But if you're not into spicy, you can also do a lajillo, which is in a garlic. garlic. Um, buttered or in other less spicy uh, options. Okay, here I go. Wow! <laughs> okay, it's spicy, but it's okay. It's tolerable, I can what's, do it. What's your meter? It's right here. It's this almost there. really great. Si es tu. Voy. Pruébala. Venga. Uh, yeah. You gotta get it in the habanero. Si no lo cuentan. Mucho, 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 mucho. Mucho chile, mucho chile. Mucho chile. Pero mucho tú sí chile. comes chile. <risa> Para mí eso no es nada. Ah, ya veremos. No. 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 Ah, hay que ponerle más entonces. Mm. ¿Quiere más? ¿Cuál es tu metro? ¿Quiere más sí. chile? Aquí le ponemos más habanero, mira. Wow. <risa> va. Ya, ahí va el reto. More, 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 more. Ah, no que no hablaba inglés. More, more, more. Speak English. Venga. One, two. Mm. Oh. 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 Oh, oh. Ah, no, sí, sí. Es good. Sí, pica. ¿Eh? Pero está bueno. Así, oh. así o oh, así. ¿Es que pica o es que está bueno? No, oh, pica. Rico, pero... Oh. Oh, pica, pica. Pica, pica. El agua, el agua, el agua. Oh. Not only do you get to come out and enjoy some fresh, delicious truchas, you can enjoy the mountain view, the nature, just serene, 
calm lunch. Um, if you want to bring the kids, we've got a playground. There's a large grassy field for picnics even. It's a really great space here. And every time that we've come, the temperature has been different. The first time we came, it was raining a lot and it felt so relaxing to just have some fish and to relax. So this time it's sunny, it's beautiful. You can see the waters way more clear than last time. And we definitely recommend it. If you're out here close to Orizaba, come uh, check it out. I can't pronounce the name of the town. It's t -t 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not we'll gonna write it in. But we'll write it in there for you guys to come and check it out. ¿Qué tal la trucha? No, riquísimo. Oigan, este, muchas gracias por la invitación. Y bueno, pero sí, sí, muy rico todo. Sí, también para mí. I had a, an amazing trucha with tostadas. Everything was delicious. So you get a beautiful view. Uh, bring yourself some good company and have yourself a great fresh trucha here in this um, town. We'll put the description and the information uh, in the description below. Um, so check it out if you come to Orizaba. This is definitely a place you'll want to check out. Um, and so for now, we just want to say thanks again to our friend here, David Rubio from La Pura Sabrosura. Be sure to check out his YouTube channel to learn more about the different kinds of food in Orizaba. And for now, and you know, it's one thing to come and, and hang out and have this meal by yourself, but it's another thing to have it with a local. And you get the local <laughs> experience where you get to have conversation about different things in Orizaba. So that's also an awesome experience. And we hope to be able to bring you more local experiences from where we travel. Um, so thank you for joining us today and how it goes. Se cuidan, se bañan, y nos vemos a la próxima. Bye.